हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर साइंस चैप्टर नंबर वन वीडियो नंबर टू ऑन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट लिविंग थिंग्स नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स मैन मेड थिंग्स एंड नेचुरल थिंग्स सो आई होप यू हैव लर्न एवरी थिंग एंड हैव डन योर असाइनमेंट एज वेल सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फीचर्स ऑफ लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स All living things grow and change with time. Just see the pictures given. A kitten grows up to become a cat. A puppy grows up to become a dog. Even plants also grow. How? A seed grow into a sapling and then into an adult plant. So you are also living being just like that. You are also growing day by day. Once you were a small baby now you are a child and one day you will become an adult man or woman all non living things like a chair a toy or a book do not grow at all and remain the same as we know without food we cannot survive so all living things need food to get energy and grow plants cannot move here and there in search of food so they make their own food in the presence of air water and sunlight and this process is called photosynthesis whereas non living things do not need food and water Most living things move from one place to another in search of food, shelter, or to protect them from enemies. Animals such as cats and dogs walk with their legs. Fish swim in water using their fins, and birds fly using their wings. soil holds the plant to the ground so that they cannot move but parts of some plants show movement like flowers and leaves do you know the rain tree fold its leaves in rainy weather and in the evening hence it is also known as five o'clock tree non living things move only when they are moved by someone or something For example a ball moves only if you throw it or kick it Living things need air to stay alive The process by which our body takes in air is called breathing From where do we breathe Yes from nose But frogs breathe through their nose and skin A frog can live in water as well as on land. Water it breathes through its moist skin. On land it breathes through its lungs. While breathing, what we inhale? We inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Whereas fish breathe through special body parts called gills. Insects such as mosquitoes, butterflies and cockroaches breathe through air holes in their body. Plants also need air to live. Air enters plant through small holes called stomata. These stomata are present on their leaves. Plant takes carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. non living things do not breathe living things can produce more of their kind the process of producing more of one's kind is called reproduction animals like cows cats dogs goats etc give birth to babies human beings also give birth to babies whereas birds fishes insects lizards lay eggs after a few days eggs hatch and babies come out many plants have seeds 
that give rise to a new plant. Some plants can also be grown from their stems, roots or leaves. Non-living things do not reproduce. All living things live up to a certain age called the lifespan. Here you can see lifespan of some living things are given. Non-living things do not usually have a lifespan. What happens when you feel hot or cold? It is because living things can feel changes in the surrounding. So how many sense organs we have? We have five sense organs that are eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin. Animals can see with their eyes, smell with their nose, hear with their ears, taste with their tongue and touch and feel with their skin. Ants can also feel changes around them. There is a plant named Mimosa or Touch Me Not plant closes its leaves when touched. Non-living things cannot feel. As because living organism works all the time, its body performs several functions, as a result of which it produces several waste products also. These products are very harmful and need to be removed out from the body. How would you feel if your parents does not take care of you? Definitely you will feel bad, right? Just like that, plants and animals also have life. And like humans, they also feel hurt, if not loved and cared from our side. Hence, it is very important to care for them. Without them, even human being cannot survive. So always take care of both plants and animals. So I hope you have understood and here your first chapter is finished. Thank you.